man, I love you. And he goes, oh, I said, I said, no, no, you're supposed to say I love you back. <laughs> like this is a reciprocal deal. And I realized they don't know how to say it. Yeah. They've never had someone look them in the eyes and say, I love you. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, we're going to, we're going to, okay, everyone's at my house tomorrow night for dinner. I kicked all my family out. I had just my varsity team down, 12 of us around a table and my coach. And we just went around this table and I said, okay, tell him your story. I want to hear your story first. And he tells me a story and everyone's listening. These are all like stud athletes, seniors, juniors in high school. Some of these guys going on to play college football, basketball. And they start telling you the story about how their dad left their family, how they lived in a trailer or lived in a car. They were homeless. I mean, every single kid's crying around this table. We did this for an hour. Every single kid had the, these stories that would just wrench your heart. And every, word, every time they were done, we'd say, okay, guys, here's what we're gonna do. Now we're gonna say, hey, thank you. We love you. Yeah, I love you. I love you. Now, anywhere you go with these guys, I don't, don't matter where I see you, man. They're with their toughest friends. Love you, coach. And they're learning, like, I can be loved and I can love and I can receive love. And that's like, uh, that's the most amazing thing. I mean, just that we're, we're changing the way these kids see the world. And we tell them all the time, and we love you because we were first, we were first loved by Christ. Yeah, this is where right. this love comes from. But we, I, I love you, man. Like, 